Hello, and welcome to the wonderful world of Google Classroom. What I want to show you today is how to use an iPad and maybe a stylus. I'm using an Apple Pencil, or you can use your finger, boom, 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 boom and you can grade your uh, student work that's submitted very, very easily. So let's uh, walk through this real quick. I'm going to uh, pull up the iPad, and here's my iPad, and I'm just using my iPad here. There we go, and I'm just going to use my stylus, but again, your finger can work. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go over and uh, go to one of the assignments the students have submitted, and notice that they can submit anything that they can submit, you as a teacher can draw all, all, all over. So let's just open up this one right here, which is a, a paper that the students had to do. So uh, let me show you right here, see this uh, edit right there when I touch that edit button. What Google is gonna do is make a copy of this and now I'm working on a PDF here. I'm not actually doing, I'm not writing in the Google Doc anymore. So I'm gonna look at a few tools. Look at the tools down there and let me show you what they do. First off, this is just an eraser tool. Again, I can use my finger and I can erase things. So this one here is, uh, it's just the uh, pen. Here I have a thicker pen. Here I have um, a highlighter and here I have uh, text. So I can start to type something if I want to. So I'm just gonna undo all that because uh, don't need any of that. Now I do wanna show you that if you uh, tap on, on one of the uh, icons down below and kind of pull up, you have a few more options. You can change the color or change the size. It doesn't seem like I can do that with the um, uh, typing there. So that seems to be an error there. But if I pull up here, uh, I can see that I can, I can change the size or the color there. So I'm gonna use uh, purple for this one here. So notice that if I just want to begin uh, again, all I have to do is, is draw on top, as you can see right there. And then I can just say, oh, that thing here, that should be centered. So let's uh, say this is my title and it should be centered. So let's say that something was misspelled, right? Uh, so you could just, oh, that should be, uh, you know, spelling there. Or you can say, well, let's see, this here should be double spaced. So you can say double, maybe, uh, I don't know, something should not be capitalized and it was, that one clearly should be capitalized. So whatever else, you can just draw all over it. You can uh, put a smiley face. As you see on the top, you can just say, oh, here's your grade, 93%. Good job. If you wanted to give further feedback, you also have the option of uh, just, you know, typing down there here, uh, feedback. And then uh, number one, do -do 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 -do, here's your feedback, etc. So you can do all that. Now, let me show you what happens what the student sees and also what uh, what you can do. So notice here that it is now created a separate PDF right there. It's an edited PDF. So let me show you real quick what the students see. This is the student view right here. And let me exit out here and refresh. So the student here sees, oh, look, the edited PDF right there. So the student can now go in there and see your comments exactly what uh, you put there. So if you made a mistake and you said, oh, wait a minute, that wasn't a, a good thing at all. Uh, maybe all the corrections I did were, were wrong. You have an option right here just to delete that. So I can delete that and hit remove. There you go. So it's gone. Now the student still has, since it hasn't been refreshed, but if I do refresh right there for the student page, the student can't see that any longer. I do want to show you that this isn't limited to just documents. It's anything that can be submitted. So here's a spreadsheet. And again, you can just, and I'm drawing there, which is my finger. So just with my finger, I can draw on like that. And the students uh, will also, when you hit save, they'll be able to see that PDF as well. So I tend to, when I do submit things down here in the private comment down there, I tend to say, uh, you know, see all the uh, all notes in uh, PDF, something like that. So the students uh, know what and when uh, to see things. All right. I hope that helps. Enjoy.